Hi everyone and happy Monday! Now we have this page here from Magical Jungle and I've actually done this page twice before in my actual copies of Magical Jungle and I thought for a change I would show you how I'd done it already and that might give you a few ideas in case you aren't wanting to do it the way I decide to do it. I've got no idea what I'm going to do with it yet but I just thought we could have a little look at these for some inspiration. Now actually let's look at this one first. This was my very first copy of Magical Jungle and this is how I coloured the page. Um, there we go, just about to see it all. So I used Polychromos pencils. I went for uh, my favourite um, greens which are the, um, the, the olives and match that in with brown moths and orangey flowers. I'm never sure how to colour an orchid so I just you know mix my colors up and off I went so that was that one which I was really pleased with um and looking at it now yeah I rather like that color combo and some of the greens and things it looks really pretty now the other one that I did was in a later version of the book and here it is now this one oh, the pages are falling out because this is an American version of the book and the US edition no offense to Americans is rubbish it's not your fault obviously because it's not stitched it's only glued you can see the pages just being held in by a globule of glue there so uh, but the newer editions of Johanna's books um, are stitched and glued the US editions but I don't know whether that's all books or just uh, more recent ones. So this one you can see is done very differently. It's done in a winter theme. Um, you can see there's some glitter pen and I, I can't remember but I had a feeling I did might have done some videos for this one. So you've got this sort of winter flower and the winter butterfly and the winter leaf so I've outlined them with a bit of glitter pen to make them look a bit frosty. Now usually jungles aren't associated with cold and frost but I think I was just wanting to try something a little bit different. So that is those two um, versions but this version what are we going to do? Well there's a lot going on so it isn't only going to be one video I can say that for sure just by having a quick look at it. Um, I've got my Artex pencils um, they are similar-ish to Prismacolor some of the colours are quite close um, I just thought I would try them I haven't used them for a long time so you know they've been sitting on the shelf and I've been like it's about time I use them so that was the thinking behind that there was no other proper logic and what I think I might like to do those two both had a very restricted colour palette this one should we not do that should we go a little bit mad so we've got what I am going to do is pick out the flowers that are the same. So this group of flowers here, these and these are the same. So, and it is a repeating pattern, but we can't see much of it on this little cropped section. So I'm going to do the ones that look the same, the same as each other, and then just mix them up a bit. So let's make a start. I'm just going to grab a pink and start with the first flower. So this is pink. Um, let's come in closer. You can't see otherwise. Um, I might come in about that close and then just work my way across and try and remember to move the book. Right. Let's go. So here we are with our pink. What I think I'm going to try and do, just make it a little bit darker here by layering it up a bit and then a bit lighter to the tip. It's quite hard to show you on that one with my hand balancing on the uh, the old ring on the side of the book, but we'll get there. Um, yeah, I haven't thought about the centre of the flower yet. I think I might just go for a darker pinky tone. I'll have a look in a minute. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm on my own at the moment in the house. I'm having a bit of a breathe. You know, I feel like I need a bit of breathing space every so often. So it's rather nice. Um, which to which my family go thank you very much mum but um, not what they watch my video this but I have mentioned it to them before and they're like thanks but I just need some time when they're off I'd have to think about what they're up to so husband's at work both boys are at uni one of them's in all day one of them's 
just left sort of late morning and uh, so after he left I gave my mum a call, caught up with her news then um, um, then had a bit of lunch and thought I'd just come and do a bit of recording so that's nice I only recorded one video yesterday so I feel like I need to do a little bit of catching up but I'm not I'm a nice long way ahead so I'm not too concerned really so I'm just you know doing it when I feel like it which is nice I've actually uh, been really enjoying what I'm doing video wise let's move these into the center <clears throat> lately but I got an email this morning now this video is dated the 18th of November it is in fact the 15th of October so I'm recording a very long way in advance and that is simply because Johanna's book's coming out and I know that I'm going to be wanting to do a lot from her book and I don't want to feel like, oh, I've got to do a planner page and I want to be doing her book. Do you know what I mean? So I thought if I can get ahead with some planner pages, then when her book comes and it's all a novelty and I want to do lots from it, I'm not going to feel like a lack of enthusiasm for the planner page, which might make for a less engaging video for you. So that was the thinking behind it. And so I'm just enjoying colouring this now a little bit early which is absolutely fine and good and uh, it this is quite a pinky spring like colour isn't it but anyway it doesn't matter I decided not to do a sort of autumnal theme like I did on last week's or worry about anything really theme wise I just thought I'd pick grab some pencils and see where they led me led good joke no no unintentional pathetic pun pun never mind <laughs> I was a little bit um anxious earlier when I was on the phone to my mum and I was looked out the window and there was an absolutely enormous rat in the garden huge and I was like oh then he came near the house and vanished and I was like oh has he gone not that there's any openings that he could fit through nothing open you know nothing like that but um then i i saw him again later and he was chasing a smaller rat and the smaller rat had a baby so they were ran out of the garden chasing each other i was like <laughs> i didn't like that very much but um i am thinking i might have to go and get some bait i think I just can't bear the thought of them being in the house again and I know my neighbours are all the same but uh, it's just horrible so uh, and I don't know where they were coming in so we haven't been able to block up anything because we just don't know so that makes it really hard um, if there was an obvious place and we could block it up then we'd like that's good they're gone but no no idea at all <sighs> And talk about something else um rose red i am going to use for the centers and um, we'll make them pink oh i need sharpening pick it jolly oh yeah so i messaged my one son to remind him he's got a careers advice visor appointment and he didn't reply so i'm just hoping that uh he's all fine oh i did those without you seeing there's nothing to see I just filled them in like, like that and like that. <laughs> Sorry. Right. Let's pick a different type of flower now. We've got this great big one here. Mm, let's have a look at the colours we've got. I'm thinking maybe red. If I do this red, um, which isn't our darkest one, this is the carmine red. Again, I'm going to sharpen it. I'm just seeing if I've got any others of these flowers, like this. Um, no. I'm just going to fill this one in. Yeah, I reminded him he had this careers appointment because he wanted to talk to him about his placement. Because he asked me if I could help him put together an email to contact the company he wants to do a placement with. But um, he then, I said, well... 
that's fine, but do you know when you have to start and end? How long has it got to be? Um, are there any special things you have to do? So he decided to talk to the careers department, which was a very sensible thing to do. It's quite brave of him because he's quite shy to go and do something like that on his own but he's got so much braver this last year or more and so much more chatty to strangers not strangers but you know just people and his grandparents as well particularly his grandfather um not my parents my father-in-law um and um yeah so uh, it's been uh, so it's rather nice and yeah he's got i think having to travel to uni on his own because no one else goes by train um and most people live in the town where the uni is which sort of makes sense especially last year when the students were um were mainly in halls of residence so they picked one that was in the same town as the where their course was held it sort of makes sense doesn't it and um I'm trying to make this a little darker in the middle, but I don't think it's really showing up. We're going to put some other colour in there. Um, so he's had to travel on his own and um, make new friends because he didn't know anybody. And he managed to do that quite well, which is really good. Some of his classes are really small, so there's not many people to talk to, but he actually doesn't talk to people who don't talk. Which is a shame, really, because I've seen and they might be shy. They might want someone to talk to and stuff like that. But he talks a bit We Well, at least he talks to some people and that's all good. My other son, he doesn't talk to anybody still. He still hasn't really come out of his shell. You know, he's very much like his dad. I spoke to his dad about it. Um, well, we've been talking to each other about it quite a bit, actually, because a bit worried. Um... And his dad said that he, when he was that age, he was the same. And then someone suggested he join this sort of group, a club type thing. And um, it slowly brought him out of his shell. And we're trying to think of something similar. But he said the thing is, it didn't come from his parents. Had his parents suggested it. This is Crimson Lake. We're going to put in some shadow areas. So I think firstly around the central part here. Um, had his parents suggested it, he probably would not have done it. But someone he knew well, trusted and known his whole life suggested it. And so he did it because he sort of trusted them that it was a good idea. Unfortunately, we don't know anybody like that who could do fulfil that role. And we have made a few suggestions which have not been um, met with any sort of enthusiasm. So it's difficult, very difficult. But uh, my, the one who's more confident says he also feels that his confidence has been helped by his um, online streaming. Because you have to just talk for hours and hours. So, like, I don't know. I can hear a noise dripping type noise. Oh, I hear that sometimes in here. It's usually the shower. Right. In this centre here, we've got these little tiny petals. I'm going to do those with the carmine red that we did originally. Um, anyway. Um, so he says streaming helps. We tried to encourage his brother to do a bit of streaming, but he just doesn't really like doing it very much so that doesn't work this is Tuscan red and I'm going to use this for the centre and for these lines now if you'd rather do a yellow centre by all means do I know some of you don't like a dark centre you prefer um, yellow go for it or we might do some yellow maybe for something else but sometimes I like to mix it up a little bit So uh, anyway, well, I did, he do, he doesn't, he's not very outward in that he'll sit, before the class starts, he'll sit on his phone. And so that makes, I think, makes you quite unapproachable. I think people just assume you don't want to be talked to. 
maybe I would but maybe I'm wrong because you know I'm of a different generation obviously where we didn't obviously we didn't have phones but if someone was reading a book which maybe have been the equivalent I'm going back to my Carmine Red just to fill in a few of the gaps that I've accidentally left you know if someone was reading a book you wouldn't talk to them if they were on a train or in a classroom or writing something you know a journal diary or doing homework or whatever you wouldn't disturb them so maybe that is the equivalent these days if you're on your phone you're almost giving away a do not disturb signal I just want to finish off these ends and make them slightly more intense without making it too dark so I'm going to use the peach okay could use a white for this as well but I think that would make it a little bit too pink for my liking a bit too pastel-y milky white <laughs> anyway Johanna has been advertising her book tour which is so exciting and it looks like she's already recorded all of the videos ready and has got it all ready to launch which is fabulous I am very excited about it um, I did actually put a link to it on my Facebook page so people could have a look. There is one free download which people can grab if they haven't got the book, which I think is always nice to give some freebies. It's what my husband does with his um, colouring pages. He just gives them all away for free and then you can pay if you want to or if you can afford to. Now... This one here, we've got, these are quite similar. So here I'm going to do a uh, purple. So it's different because, you know, it's getting a little bit too samey for my liking. So I am going to use the Palmer Violet. And I'm going to do it in the centre section, not that little tiny bit, but the bit here. Like that. I'm just going to block it in, I think. It's a little bit fiddly. I think this is the only one of these flowers. I'm just going to have a quick peep round, scan round. Yeah, it is. So I don't have to worry about remembering the colours for a different one or doing another one as I go so I don't forget. It's a bit more like it. Yeah, so uh, trying to... Uh, but he did say he was listening to a conversation in class and one of the mature students um, had said that they were going to leave after the first year so they hadn't come back because they found the course too difficult to manage with their children as well. And Sam was like, how did they not think it was hard? I like, well, you know, people don't always know how hard things are going to be. This is the violet. I think this is quite a bluish colour, I seem to remember. Yeah, I think it will work here. Um, I was like, well, maybe he was had help with his children to start with and then maybe he didn't after. So there's a lot to do for caring for kids, you know, I said to him. He's like, sir? He's like, yes, you've got to cook for them, you've got to clean, do their washing, do the school run, put them to bed. Um, make sure they've done their homework, um, get them to all their after-school clubs. It's like, it is hard. It's like, oh. <laughs> mm. Mm. The naivety of children, hey? No idea. So uh, I said maybe he... Now, I've coloured here. This is the um, antennae of the butterfly. But perhaps I shouldn't have done it such a dark colour, but never mind. But uh, yes, it, it is, I think maybe he didn't realise how much work there would be. You are supposed to do, I think, three or four times more work at home than you do in class. Neither of my boys do that much. One of them does maybe twice and he gets top marks. The other one, hmm, yeah, doesn't do even that much and manages to pass just about so uh, they manage just 
This is the violet blue, which is much more of a violety colour. I think they almost got the names wrong. This is what I would call a violet. There we go. Right, now, where are we? We have, I think I'm going to do these. Can you see these? There's quite a few of these over here as well. So I'm going to start with these ones. I'm thinking maybe it's time whoops, to go orangey yellows. Um, I'm just trying to work out, we've got tips, middle, all sorts of bits going on. I think I'll grab this, which is, what's this? Yes, the yellowed orange. And I'm going to do the centre with this to start with. Yeah, my mum was going out for lunch, so and she was making her Christmas cards. She bought a new dye for her. Um, I don't know if she... I'd, I'm not sure. Is it the cuttle bug that takes the dyes, or is it a different type of machine? I don't really know. But anyway, she got a new dye, and so she could um, get a new pattern for her cards. So she'd done one um, today. It had arrived today and she tried it out and made a card. Apart from the insert, my dad always finds a sort of um, a picture of some sort that they stick inside as an extra piece of paper. But um, she was pleased with how it had come out. She's going to show my dad and see what he thought. And that means that she can just get going, you know. She likes something that isn't too difficult, obviously. Um, makes sense as she has so many to make. Um, I'm going to go for the orange next. And I'm going to do all the main bit, but not the leaf tips. I'm just checking I haven't missed any out before I get all carried away. No, nope, I think we're okay. <coughs> Excuse me. So, uh, so that was good, and I'm not sure if she did. Did she tell me where they're going for lunch? I'm not sure. And she's going to um, order my son's Christmas present. Because um, she's already asked us what, what we all want. Um, is she, um, she likes to get, like me, really early. On top of things, really early. So that um, she knows where she's at. And uh, so one of my sons wants a new bath towel. So I found one that I thought he might like, and he did. I got him to check the size and the colour and things like that. He didn't pick the colour I thought he would, but that's fine. It's his choice. So he did that. Unfortunately, he chose the same colour as my towel and my husband's towel, which means that when I wash them, there's going to be fun trying to work out whose is whose. But I'm sure we can. ours aren't from the same shop. So that sh will help. We can just look at the label. Oh, excuse me. The colours might be slightly different anyway. We don't know until we see it for sure. Because you know, when you're looking online, you can't always tell. My other son says there's an add-on for a game that he likes. What's the game called? The... No. It's Factorio. That's it. Factorio he likes playing. And there's some sort of add-on that the writers of the game have come up with that he wants and apparently it's thirty dollars so it's within the budget that we've got to spend so he wants that so uh that's okay my mum says she doesn't mind giving them money once they're over 18 because if they need it then you know if they need money they need money however um she prefers it if they spend it rather than keep it but if I said to her you know he wants this game but it's really you can't buy it because it's a download you know so he's got to um he'll have to buy it so she was okay with that but I'll have to confirm that with him and her and then I've been looking at um I would like um a pencil case I was thinking I would really like to put my um my castle arts um harmonious and pastel tint and maybe my metallic pencils all in one case 
Um, I did have a look at some 300 slot cases, but they were quite nasty in that you put three pencils per slot, which I can't be doing with putting more than one pencil per slot. I don't like that. So uh, I was having a look at other brands like this one I've got here. It's good. You just put one pencil per slot, which is nice. This is a, um, I think this is a Bitsky one off Amazon. But there's a couple of brands which I sort of trust, but um, the one that had 300 slots, as well as having three per slot, which put me off entirely, a lot of the reviews were very bad, saying when they unzipped it, the zippers broke, or the zip just came right off. The There was no stopper, and the zip just zipped off. I was like, wow, that's a bit rubbish. So I thought, well, no, that's obviously not a good one. It wasn't one of those two brands, so I don't know. But um, it would be really nice if there was a British company that made them or sold them that we could trust. I know that Derwent do a pencil case, but theirs is two pencils per slot. And um, though it's um, the sections are clipped in with like a ring binder, so you can add more, which is good in a way. But... Um, I just don't like it. I don't find it is as nice to use as the Bitsky ones. And I don't really know why. I can't put my finger on it. It's just awkward. The way it seals and the way that you turn over the sort of sections and things, it just doesn't feel comfortable to use. So uh, it's just not for me. But there's probably some of you listening who have the Dell one and think it's fantastic. And that's great. Um, but I do use mine. I mean, it's not mine, actually. It's my husband's. He bought it and he didn't like it, so he stopped using it. So I just use it for some for my Stedler pencils. But it's not. I'm not a big fan. <clears throat> so uh, I'm trying to get something a bit different. But uh, as I say, a 300 one would have been good, but the 300 ones didn't come in the brands that I trust. So I might have to get a 200 or could do with a couple, to be honest, at least. And But I know I've got a lot. I I would like to put a lot of my pencils, my, my Shapira, God, Shapira Farben pencils and my, um, as I say, some of my castles and things like that in there, but and my Yova pencils too. But, you know, we'll, uh, we'll see. Now, what's that? Yeah, I want a really dark orange. Now, we don't have a darker orange in this set, so I'm going to use the poppy red, which I am just charming. What's that colour? Mm, there is a pale vermilion. I just don't think it's going to be enough of a contrast of colour. So yeah, here is the uh, poppy red. I'm going to use it for the tips, as you probably guessed. It's quite a strange flower. Really. Do you think? Ah, oh, that's that should be orange, shouldn't it? That's not a leaf. So it's going to just be a really colourful jungle. That was my thought on this page. The only thing is, because I'm doing all the flowers first, we're going to have a lot of leaves. Maybe I better stop before I do the other flowers and butterflies and do a few leaves, or else we're going to be doing all our green in one big go, which is might get a little bit tedious if you are not a fan of green. I mean, they won't all be green do all the leaves green or else that is a bit much. <clears throat> so, but I do have to wait before I ask my parents for this Prezi because I need to see whether husband would rather have a joint present or not. So we'll see. I've been picking up a few 
few little bits and bobs. I got my mum's present, my dad told me what to get her, so that was useful. But he was thinking of getting something, but he asked, it was in a bedside alarm clock. He bought my son one, and he said, oh, what's it like? I said, well, he said, does it keep good time? I said, you have to put the radio on for it to set the time properly and he doesn't use the radio so it it does as long as you you know do it properly you have to remember to sort of press the button or whatever every so often to set it and he said and what's the radio like and i'm like i have no idea because he doesn't use the radio so uh, he's gonna have a look for that to see whether there's one for me to get him so that's good. I like buying things he likes. I've got an idea for my sister as well. She doesn't usually listen to my videos, but I'm not going to give away just in case. I really like this leaf here. I'm going to do it next. Um, this is the olive green I'm going to use to start with for the stem, stem, that could have sharpened it, um, so yeah I've got an idea for her but I haven't got, I've got a small idea for one of her boys but I'm not sure about it, I might have to ask her, and that's about it so far, but I've got my nieces to think of, they're difficult to buy for because they're students and I know they probably could do with some money but I know they also do like a present. I'm just going to fade this into the bottom of the leaf so I can add another colour. Um, so it's a little bit difficult to know what to do about that. And I could buy them things like um, toiletries and stuff that are useful but also you know you've got something to open but it's useful so they it won't cost them money for a while because they can use those but I don't know well I'll have a think about it I might talk to them actually as well now is there another one of these yes there's a very slight bit of one here do this one as well. So still using our olive at the moment. I've just noticed that flower that I completely forgot to do. So I'm going to do that now. How many of you noticed and did it? Well done. Pink. Brownie points to you if you noticed. Go. Now, my next colour is Lime Peel. I'm going to try it. I'm not sure if we're going to need another sort of colour here or not. We'll start here with the uh, Lime Peel. It's getting dark out. Not dark dark, but cloudy dark as if it's going to rain. But both my sons have coats. My husband always has one with him, whatever the weather. You know, he's one of those have to be prepared type thing. Got my waterproof trousers, you know, all that. He hates getting wet. Whereas I usually have a Mac with me just because I'm not a big fan of getting wet, but also it means I don't have to do as much washing. <laughs> More practical. I've actually got my washing machine on at the moment, so I'm hoping it's not going to get too loud. But um, we've got this new, we had our new gas and electric smart meters fitted. And we've now got a little gadget that tells us how much we're spending on our gas and electric. And I thought it might be wise idea to do my washing at a time when no one else was here. So they're not using much electric. And in the middle of the day, because we have solar panels. And so we should hopefully use a fair bit of energy from the solar panels rather than drawing it from the grid and having to pay for it. So in early uh, in the day I put on the dishwasher. 
I decided to stick it on a timer so that it went on. Um, I'm going to do these flowers for some. I'm actually, I know they're over there as well, but it's a bit easier on my hand doing these rather than ones near the uh, near the um, ring. And I think then that might be my last little bit. I'm just checking what greens I've got. Hmm. What I'm going to do is I'm going to sharpen this apple green and use this one for them. Here it is, apple green. I'm going to do the stems while it's nice and sharp. And then just, I'm going to try and colour it reasonably evenly. I'm not going to worry massively. And then I might put a darker colour on top rather than doing it the other way around. Just because I want to. I haven't decided what colour. <laughs> I'll admit to you the truth. The truth is I haven't decided what dark colour to do. So I'm just putting this one down with gay abandon. And then eventually I might think of what I'm actually, decide what I'm doing. <laughs> it's quite nice to make this sort of a bit more colourful. Rather than just the um, sort of limited palette which I did before, both times. I think because this isn't a big double page spread like in the book, it's slightly less daunting as well, which means that I feel a bit more like I can cope with lots of different colours and lots of colour choices. There's a line there which should be in olive green. Oh, there's my um, wash machine spinning. Now I'm going to go over these bits because they're small and I'll put another colour on them I think. In a minute. <clears throat> and then again I'm just ignoring the antenna of our butterflies and just colouring over it like I did with the one down here. And then here are the pair. Oh, we've got a bit at the bottom as well. Don't let me forget. There we go. I've been reading an interesting book. Um, on I was reading a book on social psychology and it had a bit on social interaction which was really interesting, which I was thinking about in terms of my son. And it was basically things like, you know, if, you, um, if you're in close proximity to someone, you're more likely to become friends with them, which makes perfect sense. You know, we're friends with our next door neighbours, but if they didn't live near us, we would never have met them or gone, or been in the same social circles as them, you know. And uh, so it makes perfect sense. It says, you know, if you sit next to somebody in class, then you're more likely to be friends with them, which is exactly what happened to my son. He sat by someone in his um, class um, on the first day and chatted to them and then decided, right, he was going off to meet some of his other friends after class. And my son said, thought to himself, well, I'm just going to have to hang with him. And he did, and then he just made friends with all of them. Now, I said to him, because he said that was just random, I said, actually, I don't think it was completely random. I said, was he in the class before you? And he said, yes. And I said, right, so you looked around the classroom at the people that were there before you and probably thought, who looks friendly? And he went, hmm, yeah, I probably did. I'm not going to sit next to the person who looks nothing like you or acts nothing like you or doesn't look approachable. This is the grass green. I think I'm just going to use it on the tips like that and then sort of fade it down. Um, so I said, I don't, it's not a total coincidence. He said, what is interesting is that him and this guy that he met on the first day and another guy they sort of ended up chumming up with 
are really posh compared to a lot of the other kids on the course. He says, such a coincidence. And I'm like, again, it's not. <laughs> it really isn't. You can see and hear it in people and it sort of has brought you together as a gang because you've got something in common, you know. And also maybe the other people thought they couldn't approach them because they were too posh, but they're not. They're not that posh. He's my son after all. <laughs> Anyway, but uh, it was, uh, it, it's very, very interesting. There's that one. I think it looks okay like that. Right. Oh, one of my boys is typing me a message as we speak. Uh, oh. One of them, oh, they both sent me messages. I better just stop the video and check them. Nothing that wouldn't have waited, but you know. One of them says he's got another book to buy and he's annoyed. And can we sort it out tonight? Yeah, because he, uh, I reimburse him for the books because we have, we've got a deal that we buy things for them while they're on their course, so that's fine. We're just doing, I'm just doing the same with this as the other one. And the other boy was saying they were learning how to do academic writing. He said, we did that last year. I think sometimes they like to give them a bit of a reminder, but also I think that maybe different teachers slash lecturers have different, slightly different ideas. And if it's the first time they've taught this group, they might want to make sure they do it their way. But I don't know for sure. No, on this one, we've got these. I think I'm just going to go over them with this. But... Um, he said it does tie into the assignment, so that is good. He actually missed last week's class because uh, he wasn't well, so hopefully it's all coming together. Now, I am going to leave that there for today because we've done a fair bit. Um, and it's quite a lot going on on this page. So I think we'll just leave it there. I'm going to go and make a coffee as well. Now I am hoping to put some white dots and things on some of these flowers. Just to perk them up and help them stand out a bit. <coughs> Excuse me. But I will leave that till the end. Because we're going all over the page. I'll be just smudging them otherwise. So um, I'm just leaving it for now. Um, I'm looking at the page. There's quite a lot to do isn't there? But there's quite a lot of really nice leaf shapes that I'm looking forward to playing with. Maybe that sounds old. I don't know. Anyway, um, thank you for watching today. I hope that you enjoy the rest of your day and hopefully you'll pop back for the next part tomorrow. But for now, have a super time. Please do like, subscribe and comment and happy colouring.